Hi guys, and welcome to the Stephen King Cemetery Club. Nona is an interesting story because we hear it entirely from the point of view of a man who's in prison and he tells of events that are really bizarre. So it's like a ghost story slash uh, Bonnie and Clyde story. Our main character is someone who we don't even know. He doesn't tell us his name. We begin in a prison and there's our narrator. He's telling us about what happened to get him put in prison. He was hitchhiking in Augusta, Maine. It's February, it's crazy weather, cold. He thinks he's gonna freeze to death basically. So he goes into a diner. He meets a girl. He's instantly drawn to her. He falls in love with her. He has this connection to her where he, she has this, this kind of control over him. It puts him in a rage and he wants to he wants, it's not about impressing her, I don't think, he, he, it's such like a, almost like a codependent situation, and she craves bloodshed. She is very much a depraved Bonnie Parker. Now you might argue that Bonnie Parker was depraved anyway, but she seems more sinister, I guess, than Bonnie Parker, and, quote, we were strangers. I only knew her first name, and now that I think back, I don't believe I ever told her mine at all. Page 380. So this guy just falls head over heels, but it's not necessarily the typical love at first sight. It seems more insidious, more of a succubus type thing going on. So the two of them kind of team up. He gets into a fist fight. He is kind of propelled by her connection, by her lust for the violence. She ends up going along with him. They go on this killing spree. Nona, she is the girl, I don't know if I mentioned that, uh, our, our main character meets this woman, Nona, at the diner and they travel together. She starts requiring kind of blood sacrifice, I guess, and he happily gives it to her. So he kills a whole bunch of people. There is a running theme that kind of is sewn through this short story and it's about rats and the repulsion that our main character feels for rats. He witnessed a rat giving birth in the root cellar of his childhood home and it disturbed him and during the birthing process this rat ate a spider and it just disgusted him, horrified him, and it has always stuck with him. He was at a school dance and he hallucinated this thing where the people turned into rats. And Nona herself turns into a rat in this. So we're starting to think he's not a reliable narrator. And he does have this weird rat, not obsession, but it is something that haunts him and that seems to be a hallucination brought on by distress. And you know, he's just, he's not reliable. So we aren't sure that he's telling us anything that's true. And after they go on this killing spree, he and Nona, they end up at a graveyard. And then it turns out that Nona is basically a ghost or she didn't exist. We don't really know. Nona ends up turning into a huge rat, which seems unlikely, but it also could have a supernatural bent. So I'm not sure. And the girl that he had been with, that he had loved, is in this crypt and she is housing rats in her body. Like her body is split open, there are rats nesting in there. So this doesn't seem like a real thing, it seems like hallucination. And then when he is caught, after having killed all these people, it comes out that Nona wasn't with him in any of the situations. None of the witnesses saw Nona, nothing. It does seem like it's kind of a fight club type short story where it's not what it seemed and this main character is not only unreliable but has completely lost touch with reality and has made up an entire 
other being as his accomplice, but he thinks it's real. I think he thinks it's real, at least, at the very least. I think that he is convinced that this happened. That is the story. I think it's okay.